DNA Replication in a Eukaryotic Cell by Emily Jensen and Jordan Mayles. DNA replication begins in the S phase of interphase in mitosis and meiosis. It begins at the origin of replication, a site on the DNA strand where the replication starts. Then helicase comes over and unwinds the parental strands from one another and breaks the hydrogen bonds which creates the replication bubble and the replication fork. Single-stranded binding proteins then bind the DNA nucleotides at the replication fork to prevent the parental strands from rejoining. When helicase unwound the parental strands, it wound the DNA outside the replication fork too, tight, which is bad for DNA, so topoisomerase will cut and reattach the DNA to relieve the tension. Then primase will create a primer, which is 5 to 10 RNA nucleotides that are complementary to the parental strand. The reason primer is needed is because DNA polymerase 3 cannot add a DNA nucleotide to nothing. Then DNA polymerase 3 will add those DNA nucleotides to the 3' prime side of the RNA primer. It will continuously add to the leading strand and discontinuously to the lagging strand because DNA polymerase 3 can only add to the 3' prime side because DNA is anti-parallel. This will create Okasaki fragments on the lagging strand. DNA polymerase 1 will then remove the RNA nucleotides and lay the DNA nucleotides that are complementary to the parental strand. This continues until the two DNA molecules separate. Then DNA ligase will seal the backbone between the DNA nucleotides and the sugar phosphate backbone. And there we have it, two identical copies of DNA. The end.